Yo my dudes, welcome back to another video. Uh, this video is going to be a short video. It's most likely going to be an intro or an outro to um, the next video. So, what we are basically going to do today is just go to Dane, just visit him, see what he's busy with. I think he's busy doing some city, not city lights, he's doing CTR lights on the new spec uh, EK. So I'll just show you guys how it does it or maybe just explain how it is done. I also want to learn how to do it myself um, so in future I can do it. I actually want to do the Corsa Bucky and then also that light is uh, being done for an EK that is possibly going to have a K20 swap as well. So that will be in future on the vlogs as well. Um, so yeah, just going to go visit Dane and then just catch up with him and I'll just give you an update when I get there as well. So this is uh, the headlight, um, it's already been removed from um, the lens I would say. Um, they did mention that you, sh you should use a heat gun um, just to loosen up um, what is seal, what is sealing uh, the lens to the light and then it will basically become loose. Um, I assume you did scrape the, the, is it the was this like silver no, the chrome yeah, part? Chrome. So you basically sand it down. Yeah. Wow, does it? That not look so smooth. Did you sand this? Yes. And this is how it's okay. supposed to. So what is this now? Is this the? So basically, you see these little tabs over here. Okay. See the tab. You there. warm it up with the heat gun. You lift it up. Ah. Uh. Then you can run a screwdriver all along the edges while heating it up, of course, not too much because then you melt the plastic. Lift all of these tabs up, and then you can just pry the lens off. Oh, cool! See? And then that comes off basically. And this is obviously the unit that goes into the air, right? Yeah, into the lens, oh, which obviously covers up the rest of this. Yeah. Skeleton looking light. <laughs> so you're gonna spray this black now, no? Yeah. The reason why I ask if you sand it because I don't see any like scratches, it looks very smooth. Did it come off easy? It's talent. <laughs> Dane says it's talent. <laughs> okay, so Dane also just mentioned that uh, these wheels over here, as you guys can see, are being prepped for spray. So he mentioned that um, he does kind of have a special running. We does spray your wheels for 500 rand if it does do a full respray on your car. So as you guys can see, um, that calf over there, um, they are resprayed. So the rims will now get a, a fresh coat of paint as well for a cheaper price. I just mentioned that this um, unit just got a little bit of damage. So he's going to color code um, the wheels or this um, steering wheel thingy. Uh, it's basically going to color code it uh, the same as the rim. Um, I'll also just put um, Dane's link in the description below if you guys are looking for any paint work to be done as well. So what do you think of this rim? It's called the Rotor Track R. Uh, it usually is in white. These are 16s. Um, I'm actually a very big fan of them. Uh, I remember back in the day, I think another dude. A subscriber, I think his name is Kyle Taste or something, has the same rim on. Um, do comment below if you'd like to see this rim on um, the EG as well. I'll maybe just put it on for a few days um, to see what it looks like. I don't like the red on red, maybe if it was white. But I am looking to put on maybe some 16s or something. So just comment down below if you think that this will actually look good on the EG. And then this is also um, the golf that Dane just uh, sprayed. 
um, I think it was in front knock um, obviously the car is not done yet but this is what the car looks like right now then this car still needs to be sanded right sand and polish guys um, this tape that you see over here it's called fine line tape um, the name is basically self-explanatory um, it basically creates a fine line um, for when you do spray um, the reason for using this is uh, masking tape kind of gives a, a rough edge so with the fine line tape uh, you will have a much smoother outline and then you can just basically use the masking tape in the center to cover up this um, so we're just going to do the other one as well. so this is what it needs to look like um, the whole idea with obviously taping um, this up so that it, uh, the indicator still has the whole reflection so that whole chrome piece you basically have to tape up so that the indicator does shine much more brighter in the center um, the chrome piece is a different unit um, like I showed you earlier so that chrome piece is separate from here and that is why um, you have to tape up this one and this side is obviously removable so the side will still have its reflection and obviously will still allow the headlights to shine bright so we're just going to finish up um, the other one and then we're basically ready to spray So we just finished up with um, taping up the indicator part of um, the headlight inserts. Um, then they just wiped it off with some benzene. So just to remove all the residue or all the uh, debris off. And then Dane is just going to give it a light coat of plastic primer so that the paint just sticks a little bit easier.
guys and then if you can see there's a slight uh, glitter after applying the plastic coat I assume the glitter gives it um, or allows the paint to stick a little bit better Hey guys, this is a fog light, very similar to mine. Uh, this is Dane's fog light. As you guys can see, it does say Stanley part. So it is the original part as well. Dane has asked me to fit this in his um, Civic over here. So we are going to do that in future. Ideally, um, the fog light would have to sit at the back. Um, I would recommend you guys not putting it by the exhaust as well as these fog lights are supposed to or how can i say it's based off um, what car you have so i assume if you have a right hand drive car the rear fog light should be in the left like mine is um, as well as i would not advise you guys to fit it close to the exhaust because it might just heat up and damage the rear fog light so this is um, something that you guys will be seeing in future I am going to put um, this rear fog light in for Dane as well. He's a little bit different to mine. Um, I think mine is one unit where Dane's actually is three units, if I'm not mistaken. This basically pushes the headlight unit or sorry, the rear fog light unit into the bumper. He um, seems like it could be a little bit easier to mount than mine. So this is basically the end result of um, the headlight. Um, Dane did mention that what you can do is basically just push this closed and then th just heat this again. Um, the glue that is used uh, by on the wall um, basically stick again. But if you are not happy with that, I would advise you guys to just add some more sealer just so that the rain does not get in or the light does not um, steam up. Um, but this is the end result. I will try to get a video for you guys of 
uh, the light actually in the car that um, this light is for however I assure you that this um, or the car that this light belongs to you guys will be seeing it at Kilani as well because this is for a race car or street race car um, so yeah guys um, I am gonna end off the video right here um, because Danny is just gonna finish up the lights and I'll try to get uh, the end result or um, a video of the light in the car as well so I hope you guys like this video um, see you guys next time peace